There is nothing leisurely about competitive eating. This is an aerobic activity. It's like running a marathon and a 100-yard dash at the same time, except your feet are standing still, but your stomach is moving at 100 miles an hour. My name's Crazy Legs Conti. I've been a major league eater for 15 years. I cannot think of a single food that has not gone competitively into my stomach. Make no mistake, competitive eating is a real sport. It's muscle memory. Your stomach, mind, and body has it if you've prepared well enough. What can go wrong are not the voices in your stomach, but the voices in your head. You're getting full, conscious is going forever, when will this end? Your strategy has to be spot on in terms of your technique. But you don't actually taste the food. At about 15, I start to feel the drag on peristalsis in my system. In competitive eating, we call it the wall. That's where your body just says stop. You're sweating, your cheeks are puffed out, you're exhausted. The last two minutes are where dreams are made and realities are broken. That's the most difficult part of any contest. There is no magic in the aftermath of competitive eating. We digest everything we eat. I need to continually drink liquids to kind of create a log flume-like ability in my system. The minimum for any competitive eating contest is 24 hours before I feel human, and by human I mean as a casual diner again. I find the activity of competitive eating to be grueling and challenging and esoteric, but rewarding. I'm going to eat for the rest of my life. I might as well do it competitively.